If you're stuck indoors, there are plenty of ways you can practice photography at home and get creative with just your camera. From natural light portrait photography to simple food shots or one light product shoots. In this video, I've put together a list of 10 creative photo shoot ideas that you can try at home. You don't have to get out to exciting locations, collaborate with large teams, or photograph top-end products straight out of the box to get great photos. Some of these shoots are so simple that all you'll need is your camera and a subject. Number one, natural light portraiture. Technically, natural light portrait photography could be done indoors or outdoors, but either way, it's a great excuse to get shooting. One of the best things about natural light portrait photography is that you really don't need much equipment. To get started, all you need is your camera, a subject, and some space. If you're shooting indoors, start by looking for a suitable light source, like a large window, and think about how you can make the most of your scene. In this indoor photography class, I kept things really clean and simple, using a large window as the light source, my camera, and some diffusion material. Number two, photographing the kids. Whether it's the weekend or holidays, take the opportunity to grab the kids for some quick photos at home. Again, these kinds of shoots can be done indoors or outdoors and require very little equipment. If you can't get outside, think of ways to get creative indoors. You could get them to dress up in their favorite outfits, pose them with family pets, or as I did here, I used their favorite toys as props. This gives them something to focus on while you get that great shot. Number three, simulating sunlight portrait lighting. If you're looking for new creative portrait photography ideas, why not try this simple one light portrait photography setup to recreate your own feeling of natural sunlight? This lighting setup is ideal for those who only have a small studio space to work in and it only requires one light. You can also build on this setup by introducing a flag to create the feeling of sun and shadow. It's a technique that I use and demonstrate regularly. This shot also uses only one light and was shot by my colleague Oz. He created this dynamic image that simulates light coming through a door by carefully controlling the way light can escape from a bare bulb studio light. Number four, dramatic rim lighting portraits. If you're looking for something dramatic, then rim lighting is another favorite of mine. I often use rim lighting to create dramatic and moody portrait images. This technique often requires four lights, but here we've achieved a beautiful rim lighting with just one light. You can see the full videos and techniques on Carl Taylor Education. Number five, natural light food photography. If photographing people isn't your thing, why not try natural light food photography? As you'll see in our newest food photography classes, you don't need to have amazing culinary skills to photograph food at home. In two of our natural light food shots where Anna photographed a bowl of spaghetti and a charcuterie board, all you'll need are some basic ingredients, a space to shoot in, your camera and a tripod, and a few reflectors may also come in handy. Number six, simple food photography at home. If you have one studio light or even a speed light, then you can take this setup one step further. Here, Anna and I use just one studio light to create the feeling of natural light. With just a few studio lights, you can get truly creative. Why not see what you can come up with in your home for an afternoon cup of tea, a jar of feta, or even dessert? Number seven, still life photography. Still life photography is a great way to really test your creativity and you really don't need much to get started. Our recent live show, The Egg Challenge, is the perfect example. Shooting just an ordinary egg, I show you exactly how creative you can be just using your lighting and background and coming up with alternative lighting techniques on the same subject. Take a look around the house to see what you can find, whether it be books or pieces of fruit, and challenge yourself to see how many different shots you can come up with. 
it's a great way to pass the time, test your skills and push your creativity. One of our top members, George Raynal, has been busy at home creating some wonderful still life images as you can see here. Number 8. One Light Product Photography Product photography can seem quite intimidating to many photographers, especially if they think they need multiple lights to get good results. If you know how to use and control light, the reality is that you can get some professional product photos using minimal equipment. These product shots just used one light, and these just needed two lights. The key thing to have, in addition to your light, are a selection of reflectors, mirrors and flags as these can be used to further control your lighting. If you want to get even more creative, you can also make use of long exposures and a single light source as I demonstrated in our One Light Live product shoot show. Number 9. Bottle Photography Chances are you already have at least one bottle of wine or similar laying around the house. Whilst most photographers would use two or three lights to shoot a good bottle shot, in a previous YouTube video I showed you how you can do it with no lights at all, and just use natural light and an iPhone torch. Number 10. Splash Photography if you're feeling a little bit more daring and you don't mind a little mess, why not try out splash photography? In this simplest form, all you need for splash photography is one light, some diffusion material and a liquid of your choice. You could try shooting water splashes, wine splashes or even paint splashes, but if you don't want to get that messy, then check out my simple splash with a speed light video on our YouTube channel. Other productive ways to further your photography. Practice your post-production. Post-production is an important part of the photographic process, and knowing how to use Photoshop and retouch photos is a valuable skill for any photographer to have. If you can't get out to photograph or don't have any shoots planned, take the opportunity to work on your post-production skills instead. If you've never quite mastered the pen tool, or feel your burning and dodging skills could be refined, then take a look at our post-production section where you'll find a variety of Photoshop classes that will help you learn the most important skills that are specifically for photographers and you'll really advance your skills. You'll also find a selection of downloadable work-along files that you can use to practice with too. Update, review important business documents. When did you last review your terms and conditions or update your website? Often these seemingly small but important tasks fall by the wayside when we're busy shooting, but it's important to revisit these things from time to time. Now's a good time as any to get your paperwork in order. Making your own photography backgrounds. Growing tired of using the same backgrounds for your photography? Why not take the opportunity to create your very own DIY photography backgrounds? From wooden boards to canvas backdrops, you can get fairly creative in just a few simple steps and really open up a broader range of background possibilities for your photos. So if you're trying to discover how to create stained, aged and authentic looking backgrounds, we've got all the information. Learn firsthand from top professional photographers. No, you don't have to leave the house to learn firsthand from the pros. If you're looking for ways to pass the time while still developing your knowledge, take a look at our past guest interviews, where I sit down with some of the industry's leading photographers to find out what advice and tips they have to share. From developing your style to industry secrets and marketing yourself, these top pros share their knowledge and answer your questions. So, as you can see, there's plenty of photography ideas for you to try at home. You don't necessarily have to get out or go to the studio to shoot, and you certainly don't need a lot of equipment on hand. Hopefully, this will give you some inspiration to start shooting, even if it's just at home. Thanks very much for watching. Get my completely free photography course with no sign up required. You can also access our free 90 page ebook. Just click the link or go to carltaylereducation.com.